This is uh, join palms or gasho in Japanese, and it means a very important thing in, in Buddhism. So and particularly in Zen, when we bring our palms together, it's not necessarily a supplication to the divine or to the Buddha, but it's a, an acknowledgement of the unity of opposites. So in a very literal way, right and left, up and down, high and low, black and white, good and bad, all of these things are symbolized in our two hands. And when they come together, we recognize that all of these things are one. You can't have something called good without something called bad. And Zen Master Dogen suggested that we, when, when his students meet each other on the pathway, that they gasho and bow to each other. And this, this gesture has been carried down through the centuries, through the ages. I'm sure it happened even before Zen Master Dogen in the 13th century. And we do it today as well. And it's a way to acknowledge not just the unity of opposites, but when we do this together, it's acknowledging the humanity of another human being that's before us. In the similar way that, say, a simple smile or a handshake or a wave to another person across the street would do. And so when we bring our palms together, it's a reminder. And, we, and if we do that with, to each other, with each other, it's a reminder of the shared humanity. We cease to objectify the other person. We seem to make them, we cease to make the other person into the object of our longing or to the object of our use. What can we get out of this other person? We recognize their oneness with us. And so when we do Zazen, we always do this, this, uh, this action before and after Zazen to remind ourselves of this, this unity, this oneness. All right. Thank you very much.